Hello, friends. I am doing an experiment where I got this on a deal. It's and its goal is to be the computer for the ham radio, maybe Echo Link and other things. So my main computer I work on in in next to the ham gear in my shack is uh, is run separate and then leave this on all the time. So I. I we'll see if this is a good idea or not. I didn't run it by my buddy Richard, that's uh, kind of the PC expert. I'm gonna show what it is. I want to unbox it. It's gonna take a little while to get it going, but uh, we'll see what happens. So this is it. <clears throat> it's one of these mini. It claims to have Windows 10 on it. So here's the uh, the massive instruction gear. Let's say uh, operating basic operation. And uh, and then the box inside to show that and welcome your comments. I'm going to try it out and see if it's too slow to use or what it is. But I want to put it on the top uh, of my ham radio gear. And then I have a, a monitor I've used for security. I can also switch over to it. So there's the wall wart. <clears throat> and then here's the basic unit coming out. And then it has the cable as well. So we'll see. Uh, I'll make some more videos on it, but it, it is cute. We'll see if it, it can be used. It has a nice, I'll hook it in directly with the ethernet connection for speed, HDMI, USB power, headphone jack, uh, VGA. I have a adapter to connect to my monitor, uh, SD card, and two other units. So it's kind of cool little thing and we'll see what this is like. Uh, and oh yeah, asking for the specs. Let me get the specs on this. That's a great, great point here. Let's see, we're aware of the specs. They're probably on the back of the box. And then here's the other cable and I'll put, I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, but I need my glasses folks. Hang on. And let's get the mini form. <clears throat> Model number, here we go. Intel processor uh, J3455, 2M cache up to 2.3 gigabytes, Intel HD graphic 500, memory uh, LPDDR3, 6 gig. That sounds pretty good on board. Uh, storage 64 gig. So I'm going to use this for software for running it. Hey, Richard. <laughs> I just mentioned you. You're going to be the guy I'll call when I mess this up. Uh, I had found this uh, cleaning up. Pretty embarrassing. But anyway, we're, we're now housebound and doing more things. Uh, uh, this is uh, I, uh, IEEE 802. Uh, let's see if it says 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz speed, and Bluetooth 4.2, HDMI X1, VGA X1. And then portal interface, what I said, DC power supply. It claims it comes with Windows 10 versus Linux support. Now, I know Richard here that's on, he would probably have Linux. I'm not ready to go back to that. I did get trained in Unix years ago, but I need it uh, dumbed down a little more. So anyway, that's the, I'll put this up. Sorry for the extra noise. The spec on it. I just wanted to get it open. One step forward here. And uh, and it has a little kind of a mounting rail thing and some screws. We'll put that in. Always keep the box together if it's time for Paul to sell it on eBay. <clears throat> and there's the unit as well. I'm going to kind of cover the serial number here. And this is, uh, I think, quick support model uh, GN34. So we'll just see if it's a good idea or not. But I'm kind of excited of having a dedicated system because I have an ICOM 7100, I'm switching out my uh, ICOM um, uh, Mark 3G uh, 706, excuse me, uh, with it. And I'm going to keep the other. That's my backup. So looking forward to this. And thanks for joining me. Just a, a quick little video of an unboxing. So I, I put myself on the line to get this going. Thanks for joining me, folks. And look forward to, uh, I'll put more updates of success or failure as I continue. This is KI4CFS 73, clear for now. Take care.